Hi, today we're combining art and science as we create simple salt paintings. Our supplies are a bottle of glue, salt, and watercolor paints with water. For your canvas, you want a heavy paper like cardstock or a hefty paper plate or even a piece of cardboard. If you want to, you can use a pencil first to create your design on your canvas before adding the glue. Simple lines and shapes work best. Or you can do what I'm going to do and just draw the picture directly from the glue bottle. I'm going to make a Christmas tree. You don't want the lines to be too thick or too thin. Before the glue dries, liberally cover your canvas with salt. And then shake off the excess. Set it aside to dry for a few minutes. After it's dry, begin to add your watercolors. Take a brush, dip it in water, and get plenty of paint on the brush. Start with green. Before you apply the paint, dip the brush into the water once again. And just very gently touch the salt. You don't want to brush the watercolor on. You just want to dip the brush in the water and barely touch the surface of the salt. You can get a few applications of color onto your salt by re-dipping the brush uh, into the water again before you need to uh, add more paint to the brush. Here's the finished product. Uh, you're gonna model it sit for a few minutes before uh, picking it up. And um, just so you know, don't worry about it. In a few days, uh, some of the salt might fall off, um, but that's okay. These are so fun and easy to do. You can just make more. Plus, even after the salt falls off, they look kinda cool. So, what's the science in this process? Salt has a scientific property called hygroscopic. That means it has the ability to absorb moisture in the environment. That's why in the old days, salt was used as a preservative. See how the salt absorbs the liquid and spreads the color? See it's spread, you just barely touch the salt. See how it's spreading? It will likely continue to spread after you've finished with that section. You'll come back and you'll find, oh, the purple went farther than I thought it was going to. So it will keep on spreading. I wonder if sugar is hygroscopic, like salt is. That might be a fun science experiment to try and compare your results. Until next time, remember that science and scientific properties are all around you every day. It's really cool. Bye-bye.